Believe it or not, there is a ton of space technology being used at the 2008 Summer Olympics. To start things off, there were no fewer than three astronauts that carried the Olympic torch through its 85,000 mile journey, which happens to be more than three orbits around Earth's equator. In St. Petersburg, Russian cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova, who was the first woman ever to fly in space, took the torch. Then two weeks later, Malaysia's first citizen in space, Sheikh Musafar, was honored with the flame, followed by Yang Liwei, who was China's first taikonaut. Think the 2008 Olympic opening ceremony was cool? There was a heavy use of China's own space program within it. The cauldron that was lifted over the stadium, which currently has the Olympic flame burning, was put through the same wind tunnel test that China uses to help design their spacecraft. The flame itself, it's being maintained by similar engine control systems that have been used on China's spacecraft, and the same goes for Master Control, which uses the Shenzhou 4000, the same control system that's used for China's rocket missions. And don't think that China's stopping there. They are targeting manned missions to the moon in 2024, which is only five years after the 2019 return of NASA to the moon. And for those of you keeping track, yeah, that's a 47-year delay for the U.S. For more information or to continue the conversation, join us live every Friday morning at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time or download additional podcasts like this one at the Space Vidcast YouTube channel or in high definition on iTunes.